Home should be the safest place to connect your tech, but just in case, there's something creepy on the net after this tale. Password reset. Welcome to the haunted house of hacking horrors. Won't you please come inside? Yes, around every corner of this suburban home lurks a hacker. And if your device connects to the internet, they will gain control of it. For example, this Blu-ray player has to go online to update its program guide or get more content. But divert that connection and you can then inject your own code. You see, if a command looks like it's coming from the home network, the device doesn't ask for authentication which means this wireless plug controller is currently obeying the hacker. Spooky. It's all down to so-called protocol, the way machines talk to each other. They're running under the assumption that they're in somebody's house and therefore people can't really do anything with them. Uh, what we've been able to do then is look at those protocols and tweak them, so bend them to our will as such, um, such that we can then uh, take control of the Blu-ray player, make the television turn on, flashlights, uh, play spooky music through the house. Of course, if it wasn't obvious, these people aren't really hackers. They're penetration testers. They're paid by companies to get into things and they help to stop other people getting into things. Turns out gaining access to devices is easy when you know how. This haunted house requires the username and password of the Wi-Fi. And the pen testers assure me that's reasonably easy to attain. Once you've attained it though, you can do some very interesting things. For example, this program here looks around for things that sound like baby monitors on the network. And then when it finds what it thinks is a baby monitor, you can install the commercial app and listen. Another shocking example, if you haven't put a password on your internet viewable webcam, it's possible for anyone to just invite themselves in. They just need your IP address, that's the internet equivalent of a postcode. The problem is the balance between ease of use and security. Most of this tech is reasonably complicated, and so the manufacturers try to make it a little bit easier for you to set up and configure. And as people don't understand security, um, it's the social configuration piece that kind of makes them really, really vulnerable. So uh, we see that as a, as a massive uh, area for compromise. Now, before panicking and throwing everything away, this is easy to fix. Just change the default username and password when you set these gadgets up and your password should be hard for other people to figure out. Because once hackers get hold of them, they could even steal your car. This BMW i3 is at the cutting edge of vehicle tech, allowing entry via an app. We think there are some, some security issues with the way that you sign up to the application. Um, and that, if you know what you're doing, you know about your victim, your target, you can do a little bit of research about them. We think there is potential to be able to intercept that information configure an application on the phone, and then use that to unlock and steal a car. This works because most people unwittingly give clues to their passwords on social media sites, pets, sports teams, and so on. And with an easy to guess username on BMW's app, Ken here can not only get into his friend's vehicle, he can make off with it. Come back, Ken. The main way to defend against these hacks is to be more secure than next door. The moral of this story, Make your password hard to guess. For social updates, just post less. Perhaps then you'll feel more serene and guard from ghosts in the machine. Whoa!